Okay, I'm going to show you how I have used the time dilation to, in real time, affect the audio pitch of my first person weapon sound. This is the meta sound that I used for the project. To look at more specifically how I made this, I will put some kind of link to that video in this window somewhere. In order to actually manipulate the first person character, I went into the blueprint and created my own function called slow motion update. Then I have it set to constantly go through that function every tenth of a second I think. It's set up this way so that the function will constantly update and thus the time dilation effect will constantly be updated. Inside of that function I have it set so that it gets the velocity. It then assigns that to a range. I have it initially set up to be between 0 and 600. I then have that range scaled to be between 0 0.2 and 1 which will be my pitch range. So for example if my velocity is at 0 which means I'm not moving then my time dilation will be at its lowest value which I've set to 0 0.2. When I'm at my most maximum speed 600 so I'm pressing W on the keyboard it will be at normal pitch. In order to actually use that to update the pitch of the meta sound, I've gone into the BP weapon component. There at the play sound at location node, I simply have a get global time dilation node patched into the pitch multiplier. That way I can still have randomized pitches of the different layers of the sound whilst still overall manipulating the pitch of everything at the same time.